four eight nine. Four eight nine. What number are you looking for? Four five six. So I wonder if we're gonna decrease going this way. This doesn't have anything. Nothing's marked. I know what road it is, Grace, but we're not finding anything on Bull Creek Road that we can read. It's like some have signs and some don't. Dear, dear. Ask him where it is. Show us where it is, dear, dear. Just you yeah, follow me. <laughs> Try to keep up. Sheriff. Oh, no. Everybody's in a hurry. Is this the guys with the horses? Yeah, it is. I hope they're here. Oh my god. It's gonna be a rocky mother. And we've come this way and we're heading out. These guys from Utah. someone here earlier? I don't know. That's really strange there. This door's wide open. No one there. We saw a sheriff's truck go flying down the road. Hi. You know where Pull Creek Cabin is? Are we on the right path? <laughs> You're on Pole Creek. No. Yeah. Go back to the highway, okay. hang a right. Okay. And go down and the, it'll open up. The highway department will be on your right. Okay. Keep going and there'll be, you'll go, you'll see a creek cross. The next turn off right there goes up on big open area. You go up into there and bear to the right. It, does it actually say 456 on it? It probably does. There's probably one of the brown signs there. Okay, so... Yeah. So we, what you're on is you're a loop, and that road's right in the middle of that loop, but uh, it doesn't connect to this. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we're going all the way up and down this, looking for four, no, five, six. <laughs> no, yeah, that's where it is. All right, well, thank you, sir. Okay. Let's 
Let's walk up to there, see if it has a thing on the door, and see if we can get into it. Okay, here we are. We found our cabin, finally. And our cabin is over there. Right and over there must be the firewood. Yeah, it's probably where they keep the firewood. So that must be the must toilet be the vault. vault. Let's go check it out. See if there's any rattlesnakes in there. Oh sure, I've seen many of these rattlesnakes, right? There's flies. Nope. Oh. No That's snakes. Nice. Looks like it's in pretty good, pretty good shape. There's even toilet paper in there. Well, who needs work. toilet paper? <laughs> you do. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> So this must be the woodshed where Pa's gonna, where Pa's gonna give us a beating. <laughs> I hope not. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of wood in there. Not a whole lot. There's a dog dish in there too. Yeah. See it? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I've heard people <laughs> donate a lot of stuff every now and then. To well. the cause. Should we bring all of our stuff up and then? Okay, here we are. I think we're locked and loaded with all of our stuff. It's a, this here says the, in memory of scouts, Don Kaltenbach, Richard Cash, and scouters Sage E. Ty, w. William F. McTurnan. So yeah, scouts. I got double bunks. Which is nice. We don't have to fight over the top bunk. <sighs> well, I want the top bunk. Okay. There's a kitchen with no sink. Kitchen, fireplace. I gotta tell you though, the inside of here smells like they had a lot of smoke rolling through here. So we opened up yeah, all these windows. The fireplace. Thank goodness they had windows that open up because. It smells like somebody smoked a turkey in here. Oh, look, they even got camp stoves up above. Oh, yeah, they do. We brought our own, but we didn't yeah, know what to expect. We just didn't know what to expect. We got a little bit of stove in here. <clears throat> oh, yeah. All kinds of goodies. Oh, cute. Oh, no, and salsa. Let's see what's yeah. down here. Cleaning supplies. Oh yeah. Lots of cleaning supplies. Get them oh women gosh. cleaning when we're done. Whole Creek cabin, don't don't touch that to people that don't sanitize. There's some lanterns. Oh, there's some lanterns. And our own battery operated ones. Can yep. I open these things? There's a lazy Susan in there with stuff on it. Oh, a dead mouse. No, I didn't see a dead mouse. What do you got down there, Ollie? Um, there's garbage bags. Oh. Some kind of Wow, well, they got just about everything. A few things there. Sliders. More nice. garbage bags. More matches. Nails. Batteries. Oh, it stinks in that one. A few things in there. You know, I think a lot of this probably people just donate, especially if they're if they come back a lot. Oh, this must be a wood a wood box with more wood in it. Could be. Wood this is the water that we brought, and that's the camp stove, the fire pit. I don't think more unless it gets that. super super cold, 
I, I don't think we're going to use that thing. It already smells like this place was on fire at one time. Um, we brought our own heater, our yeah. little stove. We got our buddy heater over here. And uh, of course, it comes with all these chairs, a nice, nice table. No benches. Out. Benches everywhere. Like one, two, three, uh, four. Yeah, four benches. Yeah, four benches in here. And a rocking um, chair. Yeah. And like one, two, three, four, five, five, six kitchen six chairs. chairs. Looks like places up there you can hang a lantern if you want. And a light bulb if you just find out where the electricity is. <laughs> if there's really electricity here. Yeah, and look, they even left their marshmallow roasters over there on the oh, wall. Yeah, like we're going to use those. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the bunk beds. Here's the bunk beds. Look, they've got little lights over here. Do they work? I've got oh, cameras. heck yeah. Nice. Sure, that doesn't go to some kind of game where you... <laughs> yeah. Remembers. What is that? The Simon family game? <clears throat> so... Let's look at the outside. Around okay, the okay. We'll take you on a tour of the outside. And you got a uh, you got a table out here, picnic table. You got a fire pit there. You got a fire pit here. Okay, there's the front of the cabin. And what's the side look like, Gracie? Little metal roof. If there was, you could you could wrestle them, put them in a headlock. Looks like a little trail oh, going up this you. way. Notice they got these rat traps oh, set up nice. all over the place. There is sign of something digging a hole by the street. Could be a badger. It might be a badger living under there, who knows? Oh, well, sweet. Around. Generator cord. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. They thought of just about everything. Just about. I believe. For that one little light. Yeah, something's been digging right here. Something with claws. <laughs> See, it looks like they got some logs over there that they're going to split up. There's a good shot right there. Yeah. Pretty. We almost couldn't find this place. How long did it take you to find it? Oh man, at least an hour. Longer than that. Yeah, we went down what we thought was uh, the road we wanted. Turns out we missed it, had to go back to the highway, come all the way down the highway, and then turn off onto this road, which leads to this guy. found somebody that knew where it was. Yeah. Oh, it feels good out here. Nice and cool. I'm going to say it's probably, what would you say, about 70 or 69, probably? Yeah. That breeze is a little cooler, but... Yeah, it's definitely upper 60s. Okay, well, we're going to go inside and uh, get things squared away. Bye-bye.
Gracie, go get that raven call on the window sill in there. You know where the wet wipes are? The sounds of screams are coming from that way. Sound like it sound like it came from over there. Shut your light off. Okay, here take this. And give me hymns. Think of that. It was a crow call, by the way, people. It's almost like looking through here at daylight. Oh, we called one. Called a crow. A raven. So I don't know how much further this, uh, this road goes up here before it deadens out. We got a camper trailer behind us, but nobody's home. Well, they're not talking anymore, are they? What? Okay, let me take one more scan over here. I guess that's all they're going to see tonight. It's somebody's hunting blind. A hunting blind. I hate to hunt blind. You never know what you're shooting at. Well, I tell you, somebody 
put a lot of work into this. Cool. It's for short people. Hi. Hello. Oh. Real short, real flexible. there next to the cabin. It's an open, open meadow. Definitely elk country out here. Somebody had a campfire here at one point. Screams seem to be coming from like beyond that ridge back over there. It seems about how far away they were. Notice there's a big rock outcropping right there. So I guess we'll head that way and see what we can find. There's where we're going. This old probably was a logging road at one time. That's our way back to the cabin through there. Through there, all okay, right. And up there, just a little ways, the road is barricaded in two places. So you're on foot from here on in. And the sounds were coming from that direction somewhere. Back up in there. How far away would you say they were, Grace? Oh, I have no idea. Was they were maybe a mile. Something three quarters of a mile. I don't know. Okay, so that's where we're headed. <clears throat> Check out the 
these tracks here. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, we'll be back when we find something interesting. So far, everything's kind of quiet in here. Watching just, squirrels. Just watching squirrels and birds. Other than that, it's just really quiet, a slight breeze. This is September 27th, I believe. Jeez. Yeah. And uh, so it's probably close to 11 or maybe a little after. 10:48. 10 10:48 in the morning. So we're gonna we're gonna keep on keeping on. There's squirrels over there messing around, and we're gonna continue up this logging road. And we just came from down that way. I'm thinking that somewhere, somewhere in here would be a good place to place the trail cam. Tomorrow, probably, or maybe later on tonight, we'll have to see. And kind of watch this main old logging road. And see what happens. Okay, I'm shutting them off again. <clears throat> Okay, we're good. Got the thumbs up from my sound engineer. This is where we are now. Did you call that weird? Yeah, that was an unusual call for a bird. Too bad you didn't bring your bird seed. Yeah. Well, send it away. We're still on this really nice wide old logging road heading that direction. You sound engineer, don't run too far away from the video. Ooh, there's some pretty yellow. Trail is starting to narrow, and we just heard what sounded big enough to be an elk. It sounded like hooves take off from this direction. And over here. So we're going to go over here and see what we can see. And the trail here is starting to narrow. Spruce right in the middle of all these other. I 
And the trail is really starting to narrow. What do you make of that? Yeah, I saw a bow over here. Bit of a rock outcropping right here that we found. Check the other side. Hey Grace, let's check out this view over the valley. We got a view into the valley over here. I'm gonna check it out. here and then it opens up into a kind of a big drainage or something. Nature is tough. Well, that tree right there is growing right out of a rock in a hard spot. <laughs> That's pretty out there. Oh, there's another one, Grace. Right at the top of that. Yeah. Growing right out of a rock. Have a little blast here and see if we get a return.
So what do you think? Head back? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we are gonna start the trek back right now, so we're gonna shut them down, turn them back on if something comes up. Some yeah, we got some elk over here. We're gonna see if we can't pick them up again. She would have had her stuff then. That was like pretty loud. Mm -hmm. You can feel them. You can feel them exhale and then inhale. <clears throat> I think it's coming from over here. It could be a ways away though. Uh, I'd say probably, I bet it's within 400 yards. Hmm. Maybe closer. Of course, there could be more than one bull too. Could be a bull over there, there could be a bull over here. Mm -hmm. All right. Rainbow spider webs. That's cool. I don't know if the camera's getting that. Okay, recording. Here we're recording. This is the OTS thermal. <laughs> Night vision. This is white is hot, is what it said on. White is hot. the truck so you can see the engine 
on the truck is hot. And look into the skies. There's not, there's no wind or nothing right now. Pretty amazing. Okay. Yep, we're on video. Okay, we are rolling with the Psionic Starlight Infrared. This is the Psionics Starlight Infrared. It looks almost like daylight, but I guarantee you, it is a lot more darker out here than it looks. Now if I hit the, uh, <clears throat> there's the IR beam. Things do go a little darker. Let me, sh let me show you what it looks like in daylight. If we were shooting in daylight mode. Okay, see how, <clears throat> see how grainy that is? Because the ISOs can't, can't compete with the light. And I mean, if I had my cell phone out here, it'd be a lot, it'd be even darker than that. But if I go to twilight, there's twilight, and then here's total dark, for total darkness. Of course, as it gets even darker, to where there's hardly any light out here, this will get grainy as well, but then you flip on the IR beam, and uh, it looks like a flashlight at night, except there is no beam visible to the human eye. There's our overcast skies. It's a big gray cloud in the middle of all the white. Uh, so this is what it looks like with the psionics. Which actually is a pretty, pretty cool gadget. I think I like the psionics better than the OTS thermal. Actually, um, I'll show you the cabin. There's the cast. So you can even see colors and everything, even in the dark, which is getting pretty pretty much dark right now. The sun's just about down. Unfortunately, these both of these don't record in 4K or high def. Um, but I guess for the price, it's not too bad. Okay, so that wraps up the, uh, the little comparison. There's the IR light again. to just starlight. Well, there we go. See what's uh, tell us which one you like better. And thank you.
What does my wife think about that? All right, I think we found Pole Creek. Okay, look what we found here. A little, a little a den with a log on it, or rocks with logs on it. And those rocks look like they're kind of placed like that. Right in there. This is weird. <sighs> Little Denny. That concludes our trip into the Pole Creek campground. And yeah, it's not a bad place to stay, is it, Chris? No, the cabin was nice. It was more than what I expected. Had a little trouble finding it, but uh, I don't know, for two bunk beds, what did it have? Six kitchen chairs. Mm hmm. The table. The table was furnished. It had like benches, four or five benches in there. You can put your gear on. Um, so it was not for three nights and one hundred and thirteen dollars. It's not too bad. It had a nice kitchen cupboard counter. Yeah. So, what was your favorite part of the trip? I always enjoyed the hiking and getting out, you know, seeing the scenery and just so serene and beautiful out here. I wish we would have been able to see more animals. Yeah. I saw a deer, and you and I both saw a deer. Mm -hmm. We saw a little bunny in the rocks above the, camp, the cabin. It was a cave bunny. Yeah, Monty Python cave bunny. To see we, we had to be careful with him. And there was uh, tons of chipmunks. Chipmunks. A few birds. Elk walking all around us, but we never got to see one. Oh yeah, we and heard them one, though. And this one runs out in front of us. And what is that? See what?
Yeah, there's something out there. That's a yellow sign. Oh, darn it. I was thinking it was a yellow rear end of an elk. <clears throat> We might see something yet, just going out of here. Oh uh, yeah, so if you ever want to come over to the Powder River Ranger Station, uh, then go to the Pole Creek Campground. There's other places out here, there's many other cabins. There was a fire watchtower that we wanted to get, but that thing was booked solid. as a sheep mountain fire lookout. But if you want that thing, you better really be quick on the draw because it goes quick. Look at way in advance. Matter of fact, this pole creek, creek, creek or creek? Creek. <laughs> it was, uh, we tried to get that in late July for August and we were lucky to get a few days at the end of September. That's how fast they go. Got some rain last night, so things are a bit wet and muddy. <clears throat> Mount Rhodes. What did my wife like best about the I'm walking around? The exploring. Yeah, exploring is always fun. That's the best part. Yeah. And then hearing the strange noises across the field. Yeah, those sounds. I don't know. And then the yeah, and then the uh, the elks bugling. That was cool. Yeah. Well, you could just hear that old boy exhaling and inhaling and and whistling and oh man, he was. for the cows. Well, in the middle of the night last night when I got up and looked outside, it was all nice and clear. And the, I could see the stars. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Above the treetops. Then last night when we were looking through your what was that? Psionics. Your psionics. I saw a red planet up there. We tried to take a picture and the red wouldn't show up. It's different when you look through them and then you look at the video or the pictures. It's uh, When you're looking through those things, it's really, really sharp and cool. But when you play back the videos and the photos, it doesn't look that good for some reason. Doesn't look as good. Now we're in a wide open area. Wild, wild west. Well, does that conclude our trip? That pretty much concludes the trip. That was fun. Well, thanks for watching. And we'll do it again. Catch you on the next adventure. Catch up and race. Race and chip. No, chip and race. Oh, you can race and chip.